Welcome back to Wave of Dawker. Week in Music, episode 17 on the docket today. Four albums this week. I dubbed it Jazz Week because I listened to four jazz albums. And surprisingly, four very different feel jazz albums. Like, I mean, I'd say the first two are relatively similar, but then the third one gets a little, you know, and the fourth one gets a little doot doot. So, you know, three different vibes, I'd say, over four albums. But these are all really great albums. As opposed to last week, you know, I actually listened to some albums I enjoyed a little bit more than usual. Um, but yeah, that's what's on the docket. I'll let the guys take it over and then they'll come back to me and I'll close out the video. So here they are and... Album number one of the week, The Leprechaun by Chick Corea. Um, how did I find this? I think I was just scrolling through... Oh, it was like, if you like Weather Report, and I do like Weather Report. It just had a bunch of jazz fusion stuff. Like, I think it had the Return to Forever album that I really like, which Chick Corea is a part of. Or I think he's... I think he's the founder, creator. I think he's the guy who started it. They had... What's that album called? It's the pink one. I might show it on screen. But whatever, I've listened to Chick Corea stuff before. And man, he's a talented dude. The keyboarding is like, that's like his main thing, he's a keyboardist, but like the composition and like just the, the scale of a lot of his tunes are just so immense. Like he just creates these such awesome soundscapes. And there are a few, you know, lyric jazz songs on here, which, you know, just are like, you know, I keep saying, you know, just, you know, jazz on the head just has like a few lines of uh, lyricism. I like that, but like over like this, this record is a good mix. The more it's just like silly, it's just like fun. I don't know, like like Jacare just has like, I can just tell he's having fun with it. Like he just makes these such, they're very playful tunes, but also making these like I said like these large scale soundscapes on a few of these tracks. It, it's just it, it it was a very very awesome album. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's not a jazz record without a 10-plus minute track, and that was the Leprechaun at the end. So I'm going to go I'm gonna go 87 Hot Dogs out of 100. Just a good, clean jazz record, and I really dug it. On to the next album. Album number two of the week, the Grand, great, Grand, I just saw it and I already forgot it. I'm the worst. Grand Wazoo, I'm going to say Grand Wazoo, by Frank Zappa. Came out in 1972. It's going to be Jazz Week, I've decided. It's going to be Jazz Week. I've declared it. I've decreed it. It's going to happen. Um, this album was super cool. I'd never listened to anything Frank Zappa before. My cousin's a huge fan of him. He also, like, released, like, a gazillion projects and records, which is insane. Like, if you look at his Spotify, it's just, like, he's, like, the Gucci main of Jazz Fusion. Um, this album was really, really interesting. It was only 30 minutes long, and it was bookended by... So I'm like, like the bookend songs were relatively similar. Like the first track I think is 10 minutes. And then in the middle, it gets a little wacky. It gets very like, I want to say it's like, and this is just on the mind because I was like listening, to, like watching this yesterday by, by, by chance. There's like, it's very like kid show music-esque. And I don't mean that in like a demeaning way. I just mean it in kind of like, a, it's like a very fun, kind of similar to the Chick Corea album yesterday, like the Leprechaun where it's like, it's very playful. And this is lyric jazz in the sense that it's a little bit, there's a little bit more lyrics, and they're just, like, fun. I don't know, this, 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 this is just a very fun record. Um, I enjoyed it. I think it's, it's I'm, I'm going to check out more of Frank Zappa's stuff. But, I mean, the guitar was super cool. A lot of cool horns and stuff. I mean, like, the composition was also fantastic. Over, I mean, it, it was just a, it was just a great album. I'm going to go, let's go a cool 80 hot dogs out of 100 for Grand Wazoo by Frank Zappa. On to the next album. Album number three of the week, Monk's Dream by Thelonious Monk, came out in 1962. Uh, like I said, Jazz Week. Uh, I was looking for, turn my TV off. Looking for, you know, a more piano jazz record today. Just looking up Jazz Fusion, and uh, one of these, one of the tracks off this record came up. It was good. It was like an hour of just nice, like club jazz, with a lot of good like, bam ba damp ba damp bass. I mean, I, I really liked it, it was very simple. Um, I played Wii Golf to it, I played Animal Crossing to it. Just a very good record to throw on if you're just looking for some nice, like, upbeat, very, um, like, up-tempo, just fun, piano jazz. Like like I said, it's, like, very, very club jazz. It's, like, in La La Land. Um, when he's playing piano in the club, it just has that very, 
It was a very good sense of ambiance and like a very good intimate feel. And I really, I really liked it. I'm gonna go, give me 77 hot dogs out of 100 for Monk's Dream by Thelonious Monk. <laughs> On to the next album. Album number four, the, album number four of the week, Trapu Bleu by Cortex. Came out in 1975. Um, really, really good. I liked it. Uh, the song Hoyt October 1971 is on that. I'm actually going to sample that for one beer, so I'm sure a lot of you folks recognize that tune if you were to play it right now. Um, but it was awesome. I, I actually, I actually really, 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 I actually really liked it. I keep saying, I always say that. I say I actually really liked it like it was like a doubt. No, I'm, I, I like music. But yeah, it was good. Um, really fun. And like, like a lot, like what I like in a jazz record is like a good balance like, I mean, I've talked about a consistent sound a lot on some of these album reviews where it's like, oh, yeah, I had a consistent sound throughout. Like, it didn't really, you know, waver. And I like that as well on an album. But I also like when an album's able to go from, like, a really upbeat tune to, like, a really, you know, slower, more melodical, like, piano beat. And that's beat. And that's kind of what this album did. Like, there was, you know, Hate, Hate October is a very, like, upbeat, like, you know, it has, like, vocals and stuff like that. But then there's another song. I'm blanking on the name right now, but it's, like, a really slower piano feel and i like that a lot as well you know like i like a good balance but um yeah i thought this album was super dope i'm gonna go give me 89 hot dogs out of 100 for or for trapu bleu by cortex and on to the next album or the other guy i'm back um so yeah that was weekend music episode 17 Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what albums I should listen to next week or in the coming weeks. You know, just drop some albums down or text me if you know me. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video. So peace out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. I just said peace out twice, but peace out. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Peace out.